in this series, you'll be given a brief project-based introduction to some of the new workflows made possible by the addition of the extremely powerful fields added to Cinema 4D R20, namely, how to utilize fields to trigger keyframed clone animation. By the end of this series, you'll have learned helpful and actionable tips to be able to have a deeper understanding of fields and modifier layers that will allow you to start integrating these powerful new features into your own workflow. First, we'll begin by building up the scene by utilizing cloth dynamics to create an animated cloth-like object. Next, we'll discover the new ways in which you can utilize fields and use them alongside special modifier layers to be able to time offset or trigger keyframed animation of clones. We'll wrap up the series by covering a brand new feature called Freeze Layers, which allows for procedural growth of effector effects without keyframes and be able to utilize them to trigger the keyframed animation of many clones. By the end of this series, you'll have a deeper understanding of some of the new possibilities that are achievable with the addition of Fields to R20. While this series gives you a general overview of some of the most important new field capabilities, by no means does it even begin to scratch the surface of all that's possible by utilizing fields. Cineversity is going to continually be updated with more and more fields videos, so be sure to search Cineversity for the latest fields content. With that being said, let's start walking through fields together. I'll see you in the next video.